Lucy's uh, celebration of this Friday liturgy, the Friday sacrifice of the Mass. We'll be beginning in just a few short minutes uh, with the celebration of the Mass. Thank you for coming to join us this morning. May God bless you and may God keep you. Good morning once again to everyone. We've come to celebrate the Mass. Our opening hymn today is, again, we keep the solemn fast as we open uh, our celebration of liturgy. Again, we keep this solemn fast, a gift of faith from ages past. This land we blinds us lovingly to faith and hope and charity. The law and prophets from of old in figure ways this land foretold, which Christ all ages, Lord and guide, in these last days has sanctified. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And as we prepare to enter these sacred and holy mysteries of Christ's life, death, and resurrection, we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, for Almighty God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may constantly, may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horse to mount. We shall say no more, O God, to the work of, your, of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. 
I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like the verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear, I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Unseen I answer you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear my, vo hear my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, you will not hear me. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel would walk in my ways, I would feed them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock I would fill them. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all the burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Both of our readings today are a reminder to us of how God calls us into community. The first reading from the prophet Hosea is, is God reminding the people that he continually invites them into a unity, continually invites them into a holiness that is centered on God's love for them. That he will not abandon them, as our psalm says, but he goes out to them that God continually reaches out to us. Now, there's a, a funny thing on the internet, you know, that was like, you know, sh shock, God ignores quarantine and stay at home orders, right? His God is a God who goes out, who reaches out, who touches others. And of course, if we believe that and we live that in our lives, then 
during this time where we are asked to shelter in place, to stay at home as much as possible, how do we reach out to our brothers and sisters? How do we love the Lord our God with everything that we have and love our neighbor as ourselves? And of course, there are dozens of ways that we can reach out to others, whether it be simply a phone call, uh, a FaceTime, uh, reaching out to them with a text message, or even talking to them across the fence from six feet apart as neighbor, right? You know, it is a time where we can practice God's love in a very intentional way, sending our prayers out to others, reminding them that we are praying for them as we try here at St. Lucy's to remind all of you that each and every day, Father Steve, Father Joseph, myself, and much of the parish is praying for one another. We're not holding back at this time. We're not hiding at this time. But we're trying to reach out in whichever way we can, trusting God's greatness and God's holiness. Because Jesus says at the end of the gospel, you know, he has great understanding, right? You are very close to the kingdom of heaven. And of course, the closeness is when we begin to act when we begin to participate in the saving work of Jesus Christ, which is loving our neighbor as we would expect to be loved ourselves. Yes, it is a scary time. Yes, we are in um, unprecedented areas that no one knows exactly what tomorrow will bring. Each day I think, okay, we've got this, you know, then something else comes out, right? And so it's important that we continually to take time with God to seek that peace within our hearts, then to offer that peace to one another, to share that peace of Christ with one another. And so as we celebrate today, as you celebrate spiritually with me here today at our little uh, chapel here at St. Lucy, we remind ourselves of our need to stay connected, not just with God, but God first, but with his holy people, with neighbors, with those around us. And we pray for all those who, have, uh, who, are, who are reuniting because of this. We have a, I saw a friend on Facebook picked up her daughter from college yesterday and is coming home, right? And, and, it's, and it's gonna be hard, but it's also one of those blessings, right? To be able to share time, to do things that we wouldn't normally do together to do them together and especially praying together. You know, earlier this year, our parish offered to many of the families a parent who prays, right? And I would encourage you, if you have that book at home, even if you haven't used it up to now, right, to take that book out and to begin to pray intentionally for your children and for other people. Look at those virtues and, and offer those spiritual bouquets, those, those spiritual blessings to one another because prayer is the foundation of our relationship with God and with one another. And so today, as we pray this Eucharist, as we receive it within our hearts spiritually, we are united with God who reaches out to us and calls for us to reach out to our brother and sister, to our neighbor and friend. So trusting in God's mercy and love, we lift our prayers to our Heavenly Father. We pray for our Holy Church. We pray for our Holy Father Francis, for our Bishop Oscar, and for all bishops, that they might courageously lead us in this time of struggle and strife. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those in the medical professions. We pray for all those who are serving in our hospitals and our clinics, those who are EMTs and other first responders. We pray for their safety. We pray for their health. We pray in thanksgiving for the work they do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our government leaders. We pray for those who guide us during this time in civil policy. 
We pray for their strength and courage in making wise and prudent decisions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick, especially those affected by the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for families that under the protection of St. Joseph and our Blessed Mother, they might be more united in hope, faith, and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our beloved dead. We pray in a special way for those who will die this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And I would ask you to please offer your own intentions in silence. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask you to hear our prayers, and in your mercy we ask you to answer them through the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you for the divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With all spirit and comfort, our spirit, and our sacrifice, and your son, this day, we come to you, Lord God. Lord, wash my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Blessed is you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we dedicate, that they may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that free from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we were once lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, 
to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and sure as peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oscar, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom, until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend, to your mercy, then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with the Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. For those who are unable to receive today, we make a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present at the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies, that what we have received by participating in this sacrament may bring us to the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, thank you today for joining us in the celebration and the sacrifice of the Holy Mass. Uh, we will be back on face uh, live streaming at noon for the uh, praying of the Holy Rosary, and then again at 3 p.m. this afternoon uh, for, the, uh, for the praying of the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. Uh, continue to pray for your parish priest. He is assured that we are praying for you. The Lord be with you. And with the Spirit. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the faithful who implore your mercy, that trusting in your kindness they may spread far and wide the gifts of your charity, gifts your charity has bestowed through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom.